Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher, and today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Lunar Flux from CZT Debbie New. This is a neat organic tangle, really with lots of, lots of options, as most of the organics do, where they kind of grow off of themselves, or um, it's just really, really neat. Now, I'm going to make one um, slight change in how I do it on the video versus what's in the step out. And the step outs are in the description section, uh, both mine as well as a link to Debbie's uh, blog where she shows this. And make sure to check that out because she has a ton of beautiful artwork uh, showcasing how you could use, uh, use this tangle. Um, and, and then also two things before I start. Uh, you can use one petal of flux or, say, three petals of flux. I dare say you could probably end up using more. Um, that's up to you. But I, So I'm going to start with the, with uh, three. And what I decided to do on my step out was I, I did one row with uh, with using one petal and then the, the bottom row using three petals. Um, that's just the way I felt like doing it, so that's what I did. All right, so and I'm going to start... I'm actually going to start mine with the stem part first, so the two straight lines. I kind of like doing that. It's up to you. Um, like I said, she starts hers with the, the petals first. It's it's a whatever works. Sometimes it might be easier to place those first, so, I you know, options are good. All right, so if you don't know what flux is, flux is a tangle, and this is more of like Maria's flux. So, you know, I'm going to put my pen down here. I'm, I'm drawing a, a kind of an orb. It almost looks like a... Oh, it looks like uh, a fat top of an exclamation mark. Um, say, or, you know, if it's this way, it could look like a teardrop. Um, but that's what it is. And then I'm going to draw you know, one off to the side. Just, well, it's, a, it's actually I'm having it come off to the side, not necessarily lower. Um, but however you end up doing it is fine. Okay. So once you have that, then we're going to aura. And we're going to aura right from the stem. So you might want to use the kind of the take off, take off and land idea. But we're taking off here. So that means tracing over a little bit. And then we're going to do the aura. Now one caveat. And she called it, uh, uh, it's a quirky aura. That's what she called it. And I love that. So when you kind of get up to the top, then, oh, let's just make another. Okay. And, and whatever size, you know, you can do. And I found myself having to slow down on this. Number one, that always helps my auras if I slow down. But it also helps me remember to do the quirky part. And then the land is we're landing right and merging into that stem, just like so. Now, as I mentioned, you know, this can, you know, grow off of itself however you want. Um, well, let's see, I'm going to... We'll just do this one to the side. We'll do a couple of uh, singles. So single, I mean, it's the same idea. We're just drawing one and then coming around. Make sure you want, get that uh, top part and then landing right back and merging in. I don't know that there's a way to avoid. You just have to be real careful. Then you can always go over it like that with your pen and add some you know, add some depth in there, <laughs> some thickness. Oh, and since I've done one to this side, I suppose I have to do one to the other side. We'll make maybe make this one not as uh, as long. Okay, and that one's just going to go off the page. <laughs> like so. And then, you know, then you can have fun. You know, I can't, you can grow one right off the top of here. Oh, let's, I'm going to raise this up a little bit more. And then have these other ones come down a little bit, like so. Oh, almost forgot that one. <laughs> oh, and say, so, let's see, and, and you know... Um, uh, you know, as I do tout, I yeah, definitely not an artist, but I do know from the stuff that I learn from doing this, and in you know, it's it's nice to have an odd number of things 
for your composition. So we'll go with that. You know, and what's fun about this as well is that, you know, it's on the whimsical side too, and just looks really, it's just really, really neat. All right, some quick shading ideas. Um, one simple one is pick a side, and actually I'm going to do these little tops too, and I'm just going to put some graphite on the one side. You could do patterns inside um, if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, take a, make sure to take a look at uh, at Debbie's blog so that way you can see some of the stuff that uh, that she did. You could also, I mean, you if you want to use color, you could certainly use color. And um, oh, there we go. And uh, and have a lot of fun with that. Well, I see one that I didn't put some graphite in, but I'm sure that when I'm done here, I will have enough on my tortillon. You know, just add some some depth. You could even um, just focus on, you know, the stem and the and and the aura, and make the this center part um, be more hollow. You know, like a see through rather than you know I'm making it um, kind of a solid piece where you could do something different. You know, and you could have fun. Shading, or you know, if you made these thick enough, or if you were good at, you know, if you're really good. So like this, I put I put some graphite just on the one side, but that's getting real. I made mine so thin it makes it a little bit, uh, little bit dicey. But even just a little bit makes a difference. So, oops, and there that one was it was just that poor little poor little guy there. So really, really neat tangle. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, in the description section uh, st are step outs, ways to connect with me if you want to. If you want to, we I just got done. Oh, I didn't show. I should show. Um, uh, doing a couple sessions of uh, of this along with another tangle uh, called Anthem. Um, so I um, so I used it, you know, to accentuate. The outside of, of Anthem and Anthem will I'll, I'll do a video on that in a in a couple days um, this one is not finished yet but I I did the uh, lunar flux throughout and behind uh, the Anthem here and uh, used a cool technique called transcending um, or transcend uh, over that so super neat and um, it's, it's just such a really cute little tangle so with that, again, hope you enjoyed. Um, yes, and if you want to, if you want to come and you know join, you know, in on a live online class, would love to have you. Um, we have a nice Facebook group also uh, that you can join. I am working to get more involved on and in, in post some things on Instagram, so I do have links to all that. Um, actually, right uh, if you click on my channel, um, it's right there on the the top uh, the cover uh, screen on the right hand side. So. All of that is there. Would love to, to tangle with you, tangle with you online. That would be so much fun. And uh, oh, also, if you liked, would love to have a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, would be honored if you would subscribe. And uh, if you do, make sure to hit the notification uh, bell next to that so you can decide how you want to be notified, if you want to be notified at all. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.